uh, that will make it possible for Nakuru County. Two billion shillings have been allocated this year for the last mile connectivity of another 15,000 people in Nakuru County to access power in their homes. We are here to confirm the government's commitment to enhance economic efficiency and industrial competitiveness by lowering electricity costs. Additionally, our strategy to provide universal access to clean, affordable, and reliable energy is clearly on course, and geothermal power remains central to these grand efforts. Given the continually rising fossil fuels and the intensifying threat of climate change, investing in renewable energy is efficient, prudent, and sustainable. This is precisely what we are doing with geothermal energy. Upon completion, this plant will generate affordable power at Kenya shillings 8 cents per kilowatt hour, significantly lower than the cost of fuel alternatives, including fossil fuel. Investors like All Power 22 exemplify the value of government-private sector collaboration in attracting foreign direct investment and creating employment opportunities for our young people. And it is important for me and instructive for me to say that the investment we've come to launch here today is not funded by the government of Kenya. This is an investment by the private sector. They are going to put their money, 12 billion shillings, into this project, generate energy, and we will buy the energy from them. It is the exemplification of private-public partnership. To unlock the resource we have here, we need the private sector to invest. And with their investment, we get the energy. With their investment, we create jobs. With their investment, we expand industrialization. And therefore, there is a win-win outcome when the private sector and the public sector work together. Many people would have expected us as government to borrow money and come and invest in this facility. That is not the right way to go about it because we do not want to burden the people of Kenya with either additional taxes or additional loans when the private sector can do it much more efficiently. And that is the reason why Socian is a private investment. We are now getting power from there. Uh, Globlek is underway, and we are now starting uh, Keshan here. Through the instrument of power purchase agreement, we create the nexus between public resources, private investment, to unlock the potential for us to get our growth underway. It is also the same principle that we have used in developing the expressway in Nairobi. Private investors invested in the expressway. We are using that facility through tolling. They are collecting their investment. It is also the same principle that we are using on our transmission lines. I am very happy that for the first time in Kenya today, we will have a transmission line from here in Menengai that will go to Olkalao, that will go to Nanyuki, supply power to that region all the way to Meru. They will, for the first time, access geothermal power from Menengai. <laughs> that investment is being made by the private sector. The Adani Group are investing in the transmission line, their money, 95 billion. We would have otherwise gone to borrow that money, burden the people of Kenya. This is now a private sector investment, the same way Keshian here is a private sector investment, the same way Socian is a private sector investment. We will pay for that uh, transmission line using a, a, a willing charge that has been negotiated. And it is important for us as a nation to appreciate that a partnership between public and the private sector gives us a win-win outcome where we can deliver 
public services and public goods using the efficiency of the private sector, investment of the private